Today, world food production is threatened. And one of the main reasons is the rise in price of the major fertilizer used today. The current war in Ukraine, as well as the sanctions against Russia, are making the situation even worse. Because one of the major ingredients for those fertilizers is natural gas. And we have observed nowadays a historical high price for natural gas. On top of that, two major exporters of those fertilizers, Russia and China, stopped their export already last year to protect their own food security, potentially aggravating again the situation. While in Switzerland, the government released 20% of the emergency reserve of nitrogen fertilizer last winter in December. This situation highlights the vulnerability of this market and that we have to look for solutions. Although nitrogen fertilizers feed billions on a daily basis, their use is also associated with a lot of harmful effect either on human health or on the environment. And the specific situation is an opportunity to find ways to preserve food security while at the same time reduce all this adverse effect of nitrogen fertilizer use. So this is really our chance to build back better. So obviously we cannot reduce food supply, especially since we're a growing population and we're getting older than ever. So what can we do? Not all nitrogen ends up on our plate. So what we can do is improve nitrogen use efficiency. Nitrogen use efficiency, although it sounds really complex, is really simple. What we're trying to do through either technology or management is to increase the nitrogen uptake in plants. So a study in China with 21 million farmers showed that we could increase average yield by 11% while reducing nitrogen fertilizer usage by 16% and even reducing CO2 emissions by 8%, and that only through proper management. But more concretely, what can you do? You can support the transition by reducing your food waste. Did you know that in terms of avoidable food waste, most nitrogen is lost by throwing away your cereals? Another option that might be more tricky for you is to change your diet. This is because to produce 1,000 kilocalories of meat, you require approximately five times more nitrogen than to produce the same amount of plant-based calories. 